Hey guys, it's Mr. Vince, and I hope you have a great day today. And that's right, the Season 20 prizes have been revealed. These prizes will release most likely on Friday as part of the Season 20 update. So in this video, I'm going to go through every single Season 20 prize that is releasing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. And if you guys want the link to all of these posts I'm about to show you guys, please feel free to check the description. Alright, but with that being said, there will be 10 Season 20 prizes. Just like how almost every other season since Season 7 has 10 Season prizes. You got 9 of these here, and 1 bonus prize. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture of each Season prize. Unless if I have to show you guys a screenshot of one of the prizes, which will happen later in the video, but... Let's just jump right into it. So the first prize is the Scythe Swing, and you just have to reach level 2 to get this item. The Scythe Swing, as far as I know, is most likely not going to be animated, which is to be expected. But I will say the spoiler itself looks pretty good. And if you look very closely at the car being used, it's actually the Macaron. And I'm kind of surprised because apparently... The Macaron does not support spoilers. So this is the Macaron. And you can definitely tell this is the Macaron because the car in the picture literally has the same rear as the Macaron in Chobrick. So does that mean that the Macaron will support spoilers? Probably not. But that would be a nice little addition to Chobrick. But we'll just see. With that said though. The Scythe Swing is actually a pretty sick looking spoiler for a level 2 reward. So this is the Ski Wing spoiler and you have to reach level 2 to get it. Normally level 2 rewards aren't the best, but I would say this spoiler is actually pretty good. It kind of reminds me of the Rubber Wing spoiler because of the design itself. Anyway, with that being said, the spoiler itself looks alright. I mean, we got the two Scythes and it was created by the Gnome, so... The Nold and Mr. Yomo are going to have a lot of prizes mentioned in this video because most of their prizes made it to Season 20. So next is the Level 3 reward, and you do need a Season Pass to get this item. It's called the Biohazard Rim. It was created by Yomo. I think the Biohazard Rim looks great. Unfortunately, they're probably not going to glow, which means you might need a Radiant to apply the glow on these rims. But I still think these rims are fantastic looking. Yeah, they don't glow, but that's okay. You could just use a radiant on the rims if you like. I think these rims are worth using, in my opinion. Next is the level 4 reward, and it's called the Radiation Detector. It was created by D. Null, and it is the only furniture item of Season 20. With that said, though, the Radiation Detector is purely cosmetic as seen. And it's kind of like a computer type furniture item, so unfortunately it's probably cosmetic, but it does look pretty good, I'm not going to lie. You can see some statistics on the detector itself, and I'm pretty sure it just detects radiation. The level 5 prize is the animated saw blade spoiler, and it was created by Yomo. This is animated, so the saw blades do animate themselves which means they will rotate and rotate and rotate. And I think this is actually a pretty funny looking spoiler. But at the same time, it's fire. Okay, so next is the level 6 reward. It is the Road Warrior Rim. It was created by D. Nold. And my goodness, <laughs> these items are starting to become a bit better. But you can definitely tell that this rim is actually pretty decent. And as you might expect, that these rims would be suited for super, super handy armored cars that are able to kill off some zombies or any other apocalyptic enemy. Yeah, but get ready for the level 7 reward because the level 7 reward is the Sparks Drift effect. It was created by Puga, and by the way, this is the first drift that does not actually require you to reach top 2%. Instead, it is part of the leveling system. So, in other words, this is the first drift that requires you to reach a level to get. But you do need a season pass to get this drift. With that said, though, 
The Sparks Drift looks like this, and I have to say, this actually might be the most realistic drift in Jailbreak, because you know cars in real life. If their tires burn out, the sparks will appear because the rims are trying to smack themselves on the floor, and they will just, like, go crazy. So, there's that. Yeah, a little creak all over the place. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah. Next is the level 8 reward, and that reward is the Road Hazard skin. This is what it looks like, and I have to say, it actually looks really good. It was created by Dr. Radium, and yeah, like I said, it looks really good. This is pretty realistic because in real life, some cars can actually look rusty. This is a rusty type skin, and it makes sense because, you know, in apocalyptic movies... Some pickup trucks or cars would actually look very rusty. So it makes sense to have a texture like this one. There were other ones that would have made it like the radioactive texture, but this one just makes a bit of sense because the apocalyptic theme isn't necessarily about radioactivity, but it can also mean other things like rust and, well, very dangerous looking things. Next is the level 9 reward, and honestly, this is my favorite favorite season rewards so far and that is the apocalyptic spiked tire style this was created by puga and i have to say this is amazing i did like the snow chain tires but this style looks so good now judging by the size of the tire style it seems like the rims are going to be normal size so now i'll go ahead and talk about the grand prize some of you will be disappointed, but it's okay. It happens with pretty much every season since season 4. But that is the Striker vehicle. The Striker was created by Mr. Yomo. And yes, this is his first season vehicle that made it to a season. With seating for 3, a custom skin, and plenty of protection from the outside world. Yeah, judging by the post, the Striker is actually going to be as strong as both the tank and the goliath if i'm not mistaken so yeah this vehicle is going to be extremely strong <laughs> it's gonna have a lot of armor now honestly i think some vehicles deserve to be stronger like the celestial and the swamp fan because those vehicles are also pretty armed and it would make sense for them to be very very powerful in terms of armor so this is actually a wonderful looking vehicle and here is actually a screenshot of the brand new striker this vehicle does kind of remind me of the rolls royce wrath but i would say this is actually pretty awesome yeah to be honest this looks fantastic you can see the brand new custom texture that will be part of the striker only similar to the shogun from season 15 and it seems like this vehicle may not support spoilers unfortunately but you can also see the brand new spiked tires in action as well as the all new road warrior rims and the minigun is just the same old minigun as the one you would see from the goliath but that's because at this point the turrets are not customizable but asimo does have plans to revamp turrets in the summer with that said, though, we are also going to get ourselves the top 2% bonus prize for Season 20, and it is known as the Flaming Skull Wing. I'm pretty sure this is a spoiler, so it will go on your cars that support spoilers. So, that's actually pretty awesome. Now, it seems like, judging by the second screenshot, the Striker does not support spoilers, but I think it's because of the back. And I guess it makes sense. But what do you guys think? Do you think the season prizes are worth getting? Please feel free to let me know down in the comments. By the way, season 19 is ending tonight. So please stay tuned for the season conclusion. And by the way, for those who are part of the top 2%, you'll get yourselves the Arroyo Drift. Which means you officially be able to use the first ever season drift in Joe Break. Oh, and by the way, before I do end the video, I also want to show you guys what the lighting looks like so far. 
And to my knowledge, I think this lighting is going to look a little bit similar to the lighting from 2020. And you can already tell that, yeah, something's a bit off. Still, I am very excited for next update. We're getting better looking mountains and a pretty decent season. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Vince, and I hope you have a great day.